Hello everyone, this is Adrian again, and I want to talk about suicidal thoughts. Have you ever, have you ever felt in your life that it's this bad, bad feeling that comes? You know, I've had these feelings. If you have suicidal thoughts, that doesn't mean you are suicidal. You are suicidal when you're actually doing it. And you may fail, but you keep doing it and you keep trying. I've been inside suicide cells, not that I wanted to commit suicide, uh, but they've asked me for help in these suicide channels a long, long time ago before social media. Anyway, anyway, um, suicidal thoughts. Uh, I'm just going to give my own experience. There are other people that have their own experience about that and maybe they'll help you. Some people have more suicidal tendencies than others. Some people may have more suicidal thoughts than others. And I can say that I have had suicidal thoughts just one time, but it, when it comes, it's demonic. It's a devil that comes and tells you, just just hang yourself, just just do it, just hang yourself. And what stopped me was I looked at my coffee and I said, I'll just take, take a sip first before I kill myself. And when I took that sip, I wanted to take another one and, another, and I never got to kill myself. But anyway, you, 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 you felt you wanted to kill yourself? Yeah, yeah. Over someone? Thank God, no. If you Don't ever kill yourself over someone, okay? Uh, that's not advisable. It's not advisable to kill yourself at all. However, the reasons people kill themselves are, are just really narrow-minded ideas that they have. Oh, if I can't have him, or oh, if I can't have her, I'll take my life. My life is nothing without you and all that kind of stuff. Listen, there are 7 billion people in the world and when you take your life, you don't know, who, you don't know how many thousands are out there that will accept you, okay? Now listen, listen, killing yourself over someone is just not, you shouldn't do that. What if, uh, you know, you know how I, how I, uh, how I wanted to, how I, how I wanted to kill myself. I didn't want to kill myself. I just was so oppressed by the devil at that moment that I wanted to take my life. The thing was I would have ended up in hell. However, what, what I want to say is I wanted something in God so bad, so bad. You say, well, it's a big, big God. No, no. It's a big, big offering. No, 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 no. I just wanted something that was so innocent. And you could probably say I deserved it. But anyway, that, that's all finished now. But when I couldn't have it, I, I was speechless. And then I, I got up to pray one morning, sat down. And when I sat down, this strong, strong feeling came over me. There's a wire in the back. Tie it around your neck and let go. It was so strong, so, so strong that my spirit was not agreeing with it, but it was so strong. It was a demonic thought. I caught that particular thought that the enemy, that can the devil give you thoughts? You better believe he can give you thoughts, just like the Holy Spirit can. So I was thinking, you know, and then I said, I'll take off. And then, of course, like I told you, nothing happened. But it came when I felt, now hear me now, suicidal thoughts come when you feel you cannot change anything about that. You just cannot change the circumstances in all of your power and knowledge and everyone you knew could help you. Nothing can change the fact. You know what you do? Like what I said the last time. Calm down. Calm down. Trust God. He knows more. You know, don't lean on your own understanding. Just keep walking. Keep obeying. Keep following God. You mean that can happen to you as a Christian, as a preacher? Oh, yeah. There are many, many preachers that commit suicide. Many. Many more quit. All right. I have them quit. Quitting is not an option. Don't ever, ever quit. I don't care how many times you fail. You're going to eventually find out where you succeed. Amen. When, I mean, there are many, many stories of how many people failed. And then later on, they just succeeded and succeeded and succeeded. So what you want to do is get off. Get off that 
that thought. Bring in God's thoughts. He has a plan. It's a successful plan. It's a great plan. Better than you planned it yourself. So keep on going and succeed. Amen.